cuties. It's the longest day of the year, so I hope you're still wide awake. There's still some more to go. Now, thousands of people gathered at Stonehenge this morning for the summer solstice. They were there to watch the sunrise at 4.52 a.m. Oh, hell no. The rest of us were still counting sheep at that time. Those Zs are better than that vitamin D, that's for sure. I'm Shazza Carpenter, your well-rested presenter at your phone's epicenter, and this is HQ, where the shining star could be you. The rules, of course, are simple. I'm going to ask you a series of questions from easy to hard. You have 10 seconds to tap the answer. If you get it correct, you move on. Answer all 12 right, you win or split the dosh. Extra lives can help you stay in the game. Grab your friend's phone when they're not looking. Shh, I won't say anything. Sign them up for HQ using your code, and now you're on your way to snagging that extra life. It's that simple. Tonight, we are giving away a summertime fine, £1,000. That's enough for your own trip to Stonehenge at a reasonable time, a chic picnic basket, and a blanket to lie out and sleep wherever you are. But before you shake it, you've got to take it. Let's get to the quizzing, shall we? Here we go with Q1. According to the song and movie, the hills are alive with the sound of what? Reggaeton, drilling, music. This was my favorite movie when I was like three years old. My past few mornings have been alive with the sound of drilling, sadly, but we're after a much more pleasant sound here, going less specific than reggaeton. It's the sound of music. We all know that movie, don't we? 164,000 of you are one going on two. The Sound of Music was set in 1938, just before the hills became alive with the sound of World War II, unfortunately. Q2, WBA and WBC championship titles are contested in which sport? Indoor hand gliding, goblin rugby, boxing. Oh, some of these sound like fun. If you went for goblin rugby, then you're about to take part in the WHY championships. Why, oh why? Slightly safer than gliding indoors, boxing. And who's given the one-two punch? 160,000 of you are. There is no single governing body that runs boxing, meaning there can be four different world champs at the same time. So they should duke it out, shouldn't they? And we see you out there, players. Happy birthday, Tracy from Taz. Have a great one. Hi to Saul and Meg, HQ's skinniest legends, according to them. Hi, Lewis. Thank you for the sausage sign. The Pond Boys are playing tonight. Congrats to Jamie Baker, who just secured a very big business deal. Good luck with that. Hi to Queen Bird and to Samuel Gilmore, one of our avid players. Good luck to each and every one of you. Here we go with Q3. In Greek mythology, a centaur comprises of a human torso and the body of which animal? Blobfish, featherless chicken, horse. I'm just imagining all these combos right now. It's making me chuckle. They all look ridiculous, but which hybrid did the Greeks go for? Better at jumping over water than swimming in it. They were half Horse, half man, half horse, 156,000 if you're galloping on to the next round. Centaurs were depicted as wild and lustful, which is a Fifty Shades of Grey prequel. None of us want to see, thank you very much. You couldn't unsee that. Q4, which of these free email services has the most users? Yahoo, Gmail, Outlook. I know which one I stand behind. Even with MSN and Hotmail users included in their total, Microsoft Outlook is still in second place here, preferring at symbols to exclamation marks. It's Gmail. We all have Gmail addresses now, don't we? 88,000 of you got the message, but we lost quite a few of you there. That was brutal-ish. Now, Gmail has over 1.2 billion users. I see the number in their daily right next to my inbox. That's how I know. Q5, which artist's real first name is Dylan? Lethal Bizzle, Tinchy Strider, Dizzy Rascal. I've interviewed a couple of these guys before, but which one's Dylan? We know them all by their stage names, but whose mum still calls him Dylan? Turning the entire country bonkers. It's Dizzy Rascal. We love Dizzy Rascal, don't we? 52,702 of you are certainly not crazy. One of the pioneers of grime, Rascal has spent enough time on top of the charts to make anyone feel dizzy. All the way up there, Q6. Which of these is not a ride at Thorpe Park, Oblivion, Colossus, Zodiac? 
They all sound like rides I should steer clear of. You can queue up for all of them there, but which one will be a very, very long wait? Scaring the crap out of Alton Towers visitors instead. Oblivion is the name of the ride in question. That was a brutal question. 24,663 of you still strapped in for this wild ride. Now, the world's first vertical drop roller coaster, Oblivion, has been filling staff with screams since 1998. I want to scream just thinking about it. Q7, which is Irish counties, does not border Northern Ireland. Monaghan, Sligo, Donegal. If you live in this county, then you're in luck, aren't you? They're all in the north of Ireland, but which of them isn't touching Northern Ireland at all? Sneaking you through to the next round, Sligo. There you go. 12,503 of you are moving on. They may have given us Westlife, but Sligo is famous for creating plenty of good music as well. Q8. Which of these civil wars lasted the longest? Spanish, American, English. There's nothing civil about wars. Three nations always up for fisticuffs, but who kept things civil the longest? Apologizing each other to death for nine years. It's us English, isn't it? English, your winning answer here. And that was our first savage question of the game here on Q8. Sizzling sausages and bacon. 2,816 of you are still with us. We lost about 10,000 of you there, I'm sad to say. The Americans kept theirs going for just over four years while the Spanish called it a day after three. So there you have it. Q9, which of these programs has not featured Kim Kardashian, 30 Rock, CSI New York, Grey's Anatomy, We've got the real actress instead. She's famous for being famous, but which of these top shows has Kim not ka her way into? Keeping out the Kardashians instead, Grey's Anatomy. Got to give them their respect for that. 2,045 of you keeping up really well here on Q9. Kim appeared in CSI New York as a scam artist. They discovered her rump was a fake the whole time. Sorry, Kim. Q10, which of these countries is not in the European Free Trade Association? Iceland, Switzerland, Malta. You are so close to that free cash, though. They refuse to join the EU, but the Swiss are part of this group. The country shedding its winter coat instead. Malta is the country we were looking for. 952 of you are teasing us right now. Set up in 1960, all four member states participate in the European single market, but are not part of the EU. Any space for a fifth, perhaps? Let us know in the chat. Q11, which of the following never actually wrote an official poem while he was Poet Laureate? Wordsworth, Dryden, Tennyson. So what was he doing? They've all been given the royal honor, but who never pulled his weight? Keeping it cushy is the ironically named William Wordsworth. He was brilliant though, wasn't he? 236 of you nailed that one. Rhyming couplets at the ready, because we are moving into the final stanza. With 236 players left in the game, another 101 of you using your extra life to get back in. 1,000 pounds up for grabs, who's going to take it home? Q12, which of these acts topped the French singles charts before they topped the UK singles charts? Pink Floyd, UB40, Madness. Three legendary bands. And they've all topped both charts, but who France ate it before the UK'd it? UB40 topped up the French with some red, red wine, but they'd already done it over here. The crazy chaps conquering France first. Madness is your winning answer. And we have 67 winners, my lovely. <laughs> That is absolutely awesome. Just 67 of you still standing here. 
in tonight's game. A huge congratulations to you, HQ Master, LOL. And you should be laughing. You are the master right now. Taking home 14 pounds and 93p like the rest of you are. We've got Naomi C. We've got Ricky P. 0497 with the nice uh, sun hat on. Who else do we have? We've got Josh Lee uh, taking a picture. Uh, Glastonbury and a bunch of other winners as well. What are you going to do with that cash? Maybe sing along with the sound of music, ride on oblivion. I mean, there's a lot you can do with that money, isn't there? That was a tremendously great game, HQTs. Thank you for playing. I'm Sharon Carpenter. You can find me at the below. Stop by, keep me company. Let me know how you did tonight. Uh, we've got more cash coming at you tomorrow. 1,000 pounds of it. That is happening at 3 p.m. BST. Until then, enjoy the rest of this long day. I will see you soon. Bye.